Donna Key is standing by live at uh, John Nicholson's watch party with now former sheriff Steve Prater. Good night, or how's it going out there so far, Donna? Hi, Stephen. Hi, Dominique. Yes, I'm joined here with the former Caddo Parish Sheriff Steve Prater. So can you kind of tell me about what's going on here today and kind of how you're feeling right now? Well, as you know, this is the watch party waiting on the results to come in for John Nicholson. Uh, these folks here are, are all for him. Uh, I'm sure there's other parties going around for other people. But uh, anyway, we're just waiting for the results and seeing what's going to happen. And I know that you've shown your endorsement and support for Mr. Nicholson previously right. and currently. So right. is that what you're doing here tonight? Yes, I just want to encourage him. And if things don't go our way, I just want to be here, and, you know, in, in the frustration or disappointment that he, you know, I want to share that with him also. And then when it's all over with after tonight, our community's got to get behind one sheriff and go forward. And hopefully it'll be John Nicholson, but if it's Mr. Whitehorn, then that's okay too. We just got to get behind them and do something about our crime and the sheriff can do something about it, and um, and that's what we'll be expecting of the new sheriff. Okay, understood. And so I know the numbers for what we have so far are changing so frequently. So I couldn't tell you the most updated one myself. I know Dominique and Stephen are keeping you guys updated back there. Can you tell me, as they come in and as they fluctuate, how your feeling tonight might go? Well, I'm just, I'm like everybody else in the community. It's time to get this over with. And uh, and and it's you know been, they've been campaigning almost a year, and so we just need to get this behind us. Uh, we feel real encouraged that that, that the numbers are going to come our way on the Nicholson camp, but should they not, like I say, we're we're uh, it isn't the end of the world if the other if the other team wins. We just got to get behind whoever wins, and make sure that they do the things and keep the programs that we had that were keeping crime down in the parish and supplementing what we could do in the city to help them as best we could. And uh, that, that's all. I mean, whoever wins, they're going to take over a well-oiled machine. Uh, the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office is hitting on eight cylinders, and they better not jack with too much of it. And is there anything else you'd like to share kind of as we go on throughout the night? No, just we'll watch the numbers, and, and it's not the end of the world, whatever happens. And our community needs to uh, to really understand that, that we've got some, you know, we've got some healing to do from some of the things that have been said on social media and all. But hopefully that'll get done, and we'll we'll get together and we'll grow as a as one Caddo Parish. So by the end of tonight, would you say that you hope that we know who the next sheriff is and we have that idea locked down? Yeah. That, Perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Prater. And I'll throw it back to you, Dominique and Stephen. Thank you.